Hey guys, this is Mike with the Benzoi Effect Channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get that really great screenshot that you've always wanted, and I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is. Let's get it. Okay, let me start by telling you that I do a lot of LSPDFR, that is a Los Santos Police Department First Response Police Mod for your Grand Theft Auto 5. For more information about that, you can check out my thousand videos that I have on my channel. But we need to get into character first, so let's do that. Okay, here's my uniform that I'm going to use for this particular screenshot, and then I'm also going to spawn a vehicle of my choosing. Okay, we got our vehicle that we're going to use in today's screenshot. It's a really nice Chevy Tile. And then uh, what you want to do is be cognizant as to what is around you. Uh, you don't want to have a lot of shrubs and trees and things in the in the way for the screenshot. So my advice is to you know park it somewhere that you'd like. It could be on the highway, whatever, or you don't even have to have a car. Just showing you an example. Uh, and this particular vehicle right here, we're going to go ahead and flip on our lights because it has a lot of lights. Real sexy car right here. And then my advice also is if you have a trainer, make sure you do have a trainer for these kind of screenshots. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, you can go to F3, for example. Uh, you can go to vehicle options and then you can clean the car right there because it does make a lot of difference, especially if they spawn in kind of dirty. And then we have our character, we have our vehicle, and now I'm going to show you what to do with the screenshot. Okay, one cool thing you can do with an actual trainer is change the weather and these kind of things. I kind of like the clouds in there, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pull up Simple Trainer again. We're going to go to Time of the Day. I kind of want that sunset to appear right over that mountain. So we're going to go about right there, for example. And you can actually do a little darker if you want. We're going to back it up just a little bit. We're going to move some uh, minutes. We're going to get that sun exactly where we want it. And then we'll put it about right, say about right there. Go up here, we'll freeze time so that you can get time to kind of prepare for your screenshot. That looks nice. Uh, please note you can also change the weather. Uh, this is clear right now and you can actually make it extra sunny if you'd like. I kind of like to have a little bit of clouds. Uh, you can give it a little foggy look. That's in my opinion, it looks terrible. Uh, we'll go back to uh, maybe clear for example. Okay, there's one more little quick thing I'm going to show you. It's kind of a pro tip is that it gets really annoying if you're in the city and there's a lot of pedestrians around and, you know, they're uh, obscuring the view of the actual screenshot. One little trick you can do is go to Simple Trainer, for example. Uh, you can go to Options right here and you can actually turn off PEDs and then that way the PEDs are no longer there. Uh, you can see there's a few cars dropping by. I'm not really worried about that, but if you want to actually disable the cars too, uh, you can do that, but just kind of be careful. Sometimes it'll actually despawn your vehicle. So uh, we're in the country, so I don't have to really worry about, you know, actual cars driving around too much. So we're going to leave that alone. The other thing I was going to show you is the scenarios. So I like to have my uh, character actually doing something instead of standing next to an actual vehicle. So what I like to do is go to model spawning. You can see it's highlighted in green right there. I press the number pad five key on the keyboard. We're going to go to scenarios. You can see it's highlighted in green right there. Just like that. Now I do have cop idols. Uh, it's already set up right there. You can come up right there. You could change this to, I mean, all kinds of different things here, guys. I mean, this looks kind of stupid, but you know, I'm just saying uh, you could do a clipboard, for example. You could do all kinds of different things. I'll let you kind of experiment with that. In this case, we're going to do cop idols. Uh, we're going to exit out of that menu. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the programs to take a screenshot. Okay, now there's several different programs that you can actually use to take screenshots. And there's one in particular that's kind of nifty, uh, the way you can take a screenshot on the fly and you don't have to even go into Rockstar Editor. But we're going to be using Rockstar Editor because that's the whole point of the video. But if you want to use this particular script, what I'm about to show you is called In-Game Screenshot. It is a script by Jedi Josh 920 uh, It's a pretty remarkable script. I really like it. And what it really does is that it goes into free camera mode and it actually slows time down dramatically. That's the whole point of the actual screenshot. Be aware that you need to have this in your scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, you need to create a scripts folder and just throw the script into the actual scripts folder. And you need to have the updated script hook V and then also the latest version of scripthook.net. I'll leave the links down for you in the description of everything I'm talking about. So we're going to use the default key. Now the default key is actually J. I changed mine to K. You can actually uh, change that in the INI file, the configuration file. So I changed mine to K. So if we go to K, it goes into a free mode ver uh, view right here. And you can see there's a car that's driving extremely slow, which is good for us. We're going to back off on the camera a little bit. And we're going to zoom in with the arrow keys here. And that looks pretty cool like that. And you can do different angles. You know what I mean? You, can, you have free motion, anything you want. In this case, we'll put it about like that. Just something like that. That's kind of cool. 
So uh, once again, this is a, you know, actual, uh, you know, it's the time is slowed down dramatically and it will capture the screenshot exactly as it is right now. You don't have any power over how fast the lights are moving and those kind of things. That's why Rockstar Editor is probably a little bit more uh, advanced and those kind of things. So what you want to do is you want to clear out the menu key. The way you do that, the, you can see the menu at the bottom. You don't want that in your screenshot. So you press the H key and it takes away the HUD, if you will, and then you can get your screenshot. Okay, now there's about three different ways, probably even more out there to actually get a screenshot of what you're seeing on your screen right now. There is a uh, Steam version where you can actually go to Steam, you can go to Settings, and then you can go to End Game. And then over to the right, you can actually bind your key to actually uh, get a screenshot in game. And then you can also select your folder. Another way you can do it is by downloading an Xbox Game Bar by Microsoft. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, I'll leave the link down below. And I do believe the default key is the window key and then plus the G key. So we're going to do that now. I'll show you how that works. So it'll bring up something that looks sort of like this right here. And remember, this is still going uh, in slow motion. So you want to kind of, you know, take a few screenshots when it's like in this particular mode when you're using the in-game screenshot by Jetta Josh. As you can just take a few screenshots like this and it'll be saved to a folder you're choosing. So I just took about three screenshots like that. And then another way you can do it is if you have, for example, an NVIDIA card, or I should say if you have GeForce Experience, uh, you can also get that as well. And I do believe the uh, default key is Alt F1. So if you're happy with that, you can do Alt F1. It'll take a screenshot just like that. And then you can also do another screenshot uh, just to kind of compare it to, for example. Or if you want to even just move your character around a little bit, something that looks maybe uh, sort of like, maybe like that. Or maybe you're not happy with the zoomed out look. You can, you know, you can zoom it out, zoom it in. And you can also rotate it a little bit, whichever you prefer. And you can do another screenshot. And then also be aware with this particular script, if you've got something on your screen, say a need for a speed gauge, uh, if you have player location display, if you play LSPDFR, uh, it will show up in the screenshot. So that's the only kind of bad part about doing it this way. So now let me get into the Rockstar Editor and then we'll really take off with your screenshots. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna press that key again that we were using to get into the in-game screenshot. We're gonna get out of that. You can see time uh, just actually started back up again. And then another thing we can do is uh, we can use Rockstar Editor. So I wanna show you that real fast. What you want to do, I think the default key is F1, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to record just like this. And you want to record for about maybe 10 to 15 seconds. And you can see the bottom left of the screen there. You can see it's recording. And uh, you can see the character is kind of moving different directions. And you kind of want that to happen. Uh, that way you can get different positions of your character and things like that. So now we're going to press F1 again. We saved enough. And then we're going to head and go into Rockstar Editor. So let's go. Okay, to get into Rockstar Editor, you just press the escape key and then uh, there's a little tiny little arrow right here. Sometimes it's hard to notice. You can also do an arrow, arrow right there, but I found the left arrow to be a little bit more efficient. Go to Rockstar Editor, press the enter key, and then we can go into this mode right here, create new project, and press again, and then add clip, and then press enter again, and that's the clip that we just took right there. So we're gonna press enter one more time, and then enter one more time, and then one more time. And then now we have free control over this. So my advice is to go to cameras and then arrow over to free camera, go to edit camera. And now you can move your character anywhere you want. And notice that guy is back there, but there's no peds. We took peds out. So it's just going to stay there, I guess. And then we're going to zoom out. This is just how I do it. And it looks kind of bad right there. So we're just going to, now we're going to zoom in and on my keyboard, and maybe default, it's the number pad eight key. So we're gonna zoom in and it just makes things look a lot better. And now you can kind of zoom in any way you want. You know, you can really let your imagination go crazy here. Something like that, for example, would be kind of cool. Notice the lights are flickering, that's okay. You're gonna press escape and you're gonna scroll over where you like it. Now notice that the lights still are flickering on the windows. Don't worry about that too much. And you can see he's about to fold his arms. So that looks kind of cool about right there, maybe right there. So you can see we got the light bar the way it is, is completely lit up. That's only because of Rockstar Editor. 
Uh, sometimes if you record a couple of different takes, uh, it may take the entire light bar away down at the bottom. So just kind of be aware of that. And sometimes I'll, I'll get in different positions and I'll record about three different takes, maybe even further down the road or something like that. And it sometimes helps with the Rockstar Editor not to pick up lights that look like this right down here. So we're going to go back into free camera mode. And maybe we want that sunset to be about something like that. All right there. And then my advice is kind of use the arrow keys. Uh, you can kind of pivot it a little bit while you're in this mode. And that looks pretty decent about right there. Something that looks like that. Now, if you want to, this is just my opinion, uh, press your escape key and then escape key one more time. Go into effects and you can change the different effects. Uh, this is no filter here. These are different filters that you can add. You can notice there's way too crazy on most of these. Yeah, that's kind of more of a good, you know, sun thing. And, you know, you can kind of, like I said, you can just experiment with these things. Whatever you like. That's kind of cool right there. And then we'll go to back to no filter, just for example. Let you play around with that. And then what I like to do is increase the saturation just a little bit. It turns everything just a little bit more vivid. Yeah, I should say, yeah, vivid. We're going to go to contrast. And we're going to kind of increase that a little bit. It makes uh, the blacks a little bit blacker. Uh, you can actually increase the brightness or you can actually decrease the brightness just a little bit if you want. And then you uh, press escape key again, escape key again. And then what we'll do is we'll get rid of the HUD by pressing the H key, just like Jedi Josh's. And you can leave it something sort of like that. Now, uh, what I like to do is uh, personally, I'll use GeForce Experience. That is Alt F1. But if I really wanted to, to go back into the window key and then pr press the G key, I can do it just like that. Now, even though the lights are flickering, don't let that worry you too much. You can always take a few screenshots. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. And then I like to use the GeForce Experience. And uh, notice there's nothing on here. Now I'm recording in Shadow Play. This little button at the, at the very bottom of the right, it will not show up on the screenshot, which is kind of nice. But uh, And then also if you have like a need for speed gauge, a player location display, other things that are on the screen at the time of recording, if you go into a GeForce, I'm sorry, Rockstar Editor, those will not be there. So that's kind of nice. Uh, what you want to do is pull your cursor off the screen, otherwise it'll show up on the screenshot. So pull it off the screen as much as you can. And then I'm going to do Alt F1. We'll take one screenshot there. If I'm not happy, I usually will go press H again and press Escape. I'm sorry, H again, press Enter key, go back into camera, go to edit mode again, edit free camera and maybe take a, a few screenshots. You know, something that looks, you know, a little bit off and you, you don't want it to be exactly 100% linear. I was saying this in an episode the other day. So something that looks like that, maybe. Maybe just a little bit of the bottom of the light bar and you can see just like that. And then if you're unhappy with that, uh, once again, press escape, scroll through to where you are happy. Maybe he's going to do another, another animation. Something that looks like that. And you can see the bar down here is now red. See that? So you can kind of scroll through to where you're happy with the actual light bar. Uh, if you play LSPD far, for example, or um, maybe a pedestrian is starting to walk in the way of the camera, scroll through until they're gone. See what I'm saying? And then go back into uh, edit free mode again. Position one more time. Something that looks sort of like that. Press H key. Move your uh, actual arrow off the screen. And once again, I'm going to do Alt F1. And then I'm also going to do, if I really wanted to, I could do Window Key G. And then we'll bring up our screenshot again, capture, and then right here. And you can do a couple of those if you want. All right, and that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. As you can see, uh, we had a lot of fun, you know, with different screenshots. You can spawn peds, you can spawn bodyguards. Uh, you can do all kinds of different scenarios. Uh, now you know how to actually get a good screenshot. And I hope this helps you. If it did in any way, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new if you feel like doing so. You guys take care. We'll see you on the next episode.